Good morning, folks. Today we've got space weather, seismic notes, flood news, and more. But we will begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we are looking at the last 24 hours on our star. Boy, that is one calm, earth-facing disk, no solar flaring or other eruptive behavior of note. Now, before we continue with the earth-facing half, the sun did indeed let go a big eruption yesterday, but it came from the far side of the sun, visible over the limb. Meanwhile, the plasma filaments are crossing Earth-facing longitudes on our star and have begun to show the first signs of instability. They'll begin to shimmy and slowly lift before they erupt, but so far it's just been the most minor of shifts in the structure and orientation above the photosphere. Eyes on them. Solar wind here. While speed in purple continues downward with a calming stream, the phi angle shifted up in blue as the solar wind sectors are readying to change. Remember, these events bypass our magnetic shield and begin directly affecting the planet. We've got some magnetic instability this morning. Quickly coming back to yesterday's coronal hole story, we're watching this one close. The death of a coronal hole, and you can really see that with a 48-hour run of the latest images. And with its closure, the large magnitude quakes held off another day. Largest was a 5.9 that, in truth, absolutely did hit magnitude 6 or higher. This one deserves an upgrade, especially since it is listed at 6.3 by some sites. It's a shame because this area was indeed on alert. It's according to our watch map posted on Twitter the night before. So folks, if you're looking for the essence of truth, the factors that put that region on watch are legitimate. But if you're talking about giving credit for calling it, remember it's officially a magnitude 5.9 and we called for a 6.0. If we're off by even 0.1, we have to call it a miss on a personal level. Be sure you're keeping track of the alert zones we're posting on Twitter. Top meteorological story is the flooding of the Nile and integration of sediment and other impurities. Water supplies have been halted for many of the 90 million residents of Egypt who rely on the Nile for their water, and irrigation with the water is also not advised. The flooding has proven deadly enough already. Folks, if you go out at sunset tonight, you're going to get a treat. The crescent moon will be up near Saturn and Venus, and little red Mars will also be in the sunset sky just behind them in line to dip past the horizon. Over at suspiciousobservers.org, we did indeed get your November Planetary Geometry Deeper Look episode out yesterday. It was number 85 on the year. Might also want to go back to October's and see the deal for those Italy quakes. Wink, wink. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.